Hello. So, I look like shit. You know why I look like shit? Because I feel like shit. Um, I have not had a video in a very long time. Um, I've had a lot of personal things that have happened. Um, after I came back from California visiting my grandson, um, we had, I mean, that was June. Um, I've just had a lot of problems medically. Um, I've gained weight, so I feel like a fat cow. And so that kind of threw me into depression, um, where I really have not wanted to do anything. Um, I lost my job, uh, because of communication issues with the company that I was working for. Um, luckily I have a new one. So, um, and it's pretty cool so far. It's actually a legit company. The other company I worked for, whenever you give them a device or talk about grammar, um, how things should be phrased, they didn't take it into account and didn't change anything, which is ridiculous. I don't understand that. Um, but the new company I work for is legit. Um, and, uh, they actually have valuable training. They pay you for like everything and it's awesome. Um, so I still work from home. Uh, but unfortunately with fibromyalgia, you do suffer from depression, although I had depression prior to being diagnosed. Um, and it can get very hard at times. It's hard to explain to someone when you don't want to get out of bed or you just feel absolutely miserable. Um, I've had a lot of things that have compounded, um, that have contributed to what's been going on. Um, so, uh, you know, I mean, there are days where I feel good and there are days where I feel like crap. Um, unfortunately I'm getting over being sick and I have no energy. Um, I also went through tramadol withdrawal. My doctor switched my meds. Um, I'm now taking new center and instead of tramadol because of the, uh, pains that I have from my, uh, back and my hips and the arthritis. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, and so they put me on the new center, uh, but did not explain to me that I was still going to have withdrawal from the tramadol. So that was a mis... <sighs> I can't even explain how miserable that is. Um, they gave me nothing to help with that, like nothing. And then they, they wanted to trade out my, um, Zoloft for Cymbalta, but I cannot take Cymbalta. Cymbalta makes me an angry bitch. I don't know why, but it does. I mean, there are certain meds I cannot take because of the way that it affects my brain. Um, that being said, look, I don't, I don't care if I look like, look, I don't care that I look like this. I don't, I don't care. Um, part of that is because of, ooh, look, I'm looking at, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to even put this video up because of how I look and how I feel. I made a video and I was like completely distraught. I will do Vlogmas. I'll vlog every day. I will. I will vlog every day. I will do hee hee happy Vlogmas. Um, oh, sorry Snoopy. <coughs> um, my hair is a hot mess. It's like, a, I don't even know. It's gotten long. I want to cut it short again. Need it like up there or something. I don't know. But you could tell I've gained weight along my jawline. Because I haven't been able to, like, do anything because of my back. I haven't even played video games. I mean, how fucked up is that? I don't know. You know how do your why? Yep. Yep, yep. Things get shitty. You know, you cannot tell a depressed person, oh, just snap out of it. It doesn't work that way. 
Oh, can't you just be happy? Oh, I wish I could be fucking happy. Please tell me what you can do to make me happy. Just be happy? That's not a thing. I can smile all day long. But guess what? In my eyes, you can tell there's still something wrong. I can fake it. Oh, yeah, we can fake it, can't we? We can fake it, depressed people. Give me a high five. Oh, yeah, we can fake it. But at the end of the day, when we go home or when we're alone, because we had to fake it, the anxiety of it all just comes crashing down and pushes you into this deep black hole of emptiness and sadness. And it's not like even a sadness. It's a morose. You feel morose. Morose is the proper word. It feels as if you're covered in a fog. And through this fog, you see nothing. You feel nothing. Everything is taken away from you. And you reach out. But there's nothing there. You can see things in the distance. Shadows. And you hear things in the distance. But they're not available to you. And you wander through this cloud, this mist, this shallow emptiness. And there's nothing you can do. So you take your meds and you pray they work. And for the most part, they do and you can function like a normal human being. But <clears throat> there are moments. There are moments in the twilight between when they don't work and they work. They're, they're slim. For me, I think I need a medication adjustment because I've been feeling... Because of... it's It's been more often that... I mean, a week straight, that's an issue with my med. So i got to make an appointment with my doctor. You don't want to feel this way. And, I mean, the best thing that people can do is ask, what can I do? What can I do for you? Usually the answer will be nothing. Sometimes it's nice just to have someone there. Someone who understands is going to say, just get up, do something, make yourself happy. They know it's hard. And they do what they can. And I have a wonderful husband that does that. So he doesn't understand. He doesn't get it. But that doesn't mean that he can't be helpful. And that he can't be there by my side. Because he is. And I'm lucky in that respect. Um, I'm lucky my daughter understands she has depression. It's genetic. It's ridiculous that these stupid brain receptors that don't communicate well, that lack that connection. And so you have to have medicine that helps that connection. <sighs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, um, I'm sure that someone else in my family suffers like this and uh, it's genetic. I unfortunately have a great grandmother that suffered from schizophrenia. Yeah, let's watch out for that. If I start seeing things and hearing voices, holy crap, that will not be a good thing. Oh, anyway. All right, well, I'm done. So, have a nice life. Bye. Oh, no, I don't mean like I'm done with my life. I mean like I'm done with this video. Bye.